right, let's look at the launch of my 2015 Cherokee. Let's boot this up. This scanner is not as advanced as other ones I've shown previously on my channel. However, the launch software actually goes back to my first bi-directional scanner that I ever purchased a long time ago. So that's why we're checking it out today. One of the things that is annoying when it's doing the vent scan, that sound is uh, a little annoying. Before we get too much into the scanner, let's look and see what all comes in the box. So let's have a quick look what's in the box. As you see, that's pretty much how it comes. Cardboard box over top of that inside the case. It's got some styrofoam covering the screen to protect it from scratching. It's very durable. It's got a really solid cover on it. USB-C charging. The only downfall is that it has a OBD2 dongle. Tells me it's a Jeep. Go into the software. So one of the things it always does, once you plug in your vehicle, it automatically goes into a full deep scan. Which I'm not a big fan of that either. I'd rather be able to choose my own features because it's just added time wasted. Especially when you want to go in and do something. So then if you want to get out of it. You got to back everything out. Then you got your screen right there. We got some updates. Reset. Battery. I don't even think. Is, can we do a battery health test on this? I think you need a special module. Yeah, we need a module for that, which we don't have. So it's got your basic OBD reader. Instant monitor test. Go into diagnose. Let's go auto detect. That's super annoying, that sound. Actually, we're going to go into the settings and see if we can get rid of that sound. I don't know what TTS sound is, but maybe that's the one we're looking for. See, when you go into diagnose, it automatically, it scans it when you first do it and scans it when you want to go into that feature, which I don't care about. I want to go into the features. That's where I want to be, right? I don't care about any of that stuff. So you have to wait till it does the scan and then you can go into a whole bunch of other different functions. I think that's super annoying. What special functions? So we can do cam crank relearn, check PCM park control odometer, <clears throat> exhaust phaser cleaning, check vehicle identification number. So we can also reset the oil, which is pretty common. Actuator tests. We could look at your live data. Let's look at the transmission control module. Can we do any kind of special functions? Quick learn, reset additive values. So this is the body control module right here. Actuation test, start, stop, relay. We do a bunch of things right here that we can test. Which is actually really cool. So this Cherokee has a ton of modules that you can go into. crazy so there's one error that it shows right here stored let's do a code search let's see what happens when we do that so it goes to google it automatically searches it for you providing that you're connected to the internet and if you want to clear it This is a nice scanner, no doubt. It's well built. I wish it was Bluetooth, but having a cable makes it a little bit more cost effective. I don't like the way the software works. Um, I wish you could just go right into whatever module you wanted. There doesn't seem to be any kind of feature that you can choose it. 
which obviously kind of sucks and go into other modules here, but just goes into data, camera assistance, TPMS, if you had a TPNS. So if you want to update, that's how we go. And there you have it. Before we get too much into the scanner, let's look and see what all comes in the box. I did notice on the main screen is that there's no function for hot functions. There's a reset, but no hot functions tab. The one is going to reset. That's the one that says oil life 32%. says processing it says unsuccessful so the oil reset didn't work doing the reset feature so I had to go into the PCM module and find the oil reset in there and I did manage to get it to work so that was kind of a downfall right there. You think that the reset feature that's built into the scanner would do it itself instead of having to find it elsewhere to make it work. But sometimes I don't want to do a deep scan. I just want to go right to the module that I want to go and see. So that's one kind of the downfalls. But anyways, this is a budget entry level scanner. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.